Where our passion is for the future. Welcome, everybody, to the Echo Arena VR Master League. We are here for Bangarang versus Hot Drop. My name is Nightfire with two E's. I will be your solo caster coming at you for this action today. It should be a good quality matchup, one that I am looking forward to. Two teams that are on that hunt for the Challenger Cup at the end of this cycle. Uh, Bangarang 14th. They'll be moving up a little bit off of their win against Flair. Uh, hot drop 15th, so right behind Bangarang and MMR and rank on that ladder. Both of these teams really looking for a W here. It would boost them up a significant amount if either one of them wins. 
uh, and they will be that much uh, closer to being able to compete in that Challenger Cup at the end of this cycle. And so I know we're at the start of it, right? We're just we're at the first week of cycle two, but already I'm starting to get my mind on what the real end result is. What are these teams competing for? And well, it all comes down to that. So even now, these teams thirsty for wins, and we'll see how they do against each other as we fly into our initial joust. Bangerang off to a lead on that joust, but Hot Drop quick to scoop it up. Bangerang, again, warmed up off of that Flare game, and so they should be coming in here feeling loose. Flare definitely gave them a run for their money, pushing it to a best of three and making it very close, but couldn't quite come out on top. And now ooh, Hot Drop are looking to get the lead. A cross pass there to nobody as Bangerang scoop it up and pass it out, and we're into a bit of a midfield contention. There's a nice little bounce pass. A quick pause for the setup on this attack and it pays off. The three gets thread in by Fields. Hot Drop are coming out swinging. If you look at the votes, it's really interesting. Bangarang heavily favored on, on the votes online. 39 to three for Hot Drop. Uh, on the VRML website. And even in the predictions, uh, so far, heavily favoring that of Bangarang. And so uh, it's interesting to see that so much of the community believes that Bangarang are going to come out on top when Hot Drop have only lost one game this season. They are playing very good so far in season four, and so they are not going to be an easy win here. As I say that, the two goes off the head of Draco, it looks like, or maybe through the hands. And they do get points on the board, but still a lead for Hot Drop. 11, 10, 9, 8, joust here, offensive push out for Hot Drop. And they gotta get through the midfield. You gotta get past this bangerang stack that is the real threat there, and they've done it. And here comes the offensive push. Oh, and Techno's just gonna take it in. That really nice dodge, look at the replay there, flies underneath the stun. And then just takes it in for that two-point challenge. That's gonna be a nice three-point lead in the hands of Hot Drop. A nice answer back for that score line from Bangarang. And Hot Drop, with a very quick rebuttal, are not letting Bangarang get close, at least not yet. Again, only three-point lead, and we're only into the first few minutes, but so far, a good bit of back and forth, and now Bangarang looking to sort of answer back of their own. They want to get maybe a three-pointer set up. No, they can't get out far enough. The defense inside the zone and just outside of it is strong from Hot Drop, and it gets the clear through. <clears throat> now we're in the midfield as Bang try and set up for another attack. Another play on offense. That clear just gets quickly scooped up, and now they're going to have to set up for defense. Hot Drop having all the time in the world here as they have this lead. Can really be patient on their setup. There's a missed pass down the center. That's going to be instantly punished. You cannot afford that kind of mistake. Light has come with a great three-point backboard shot. Tied up just like that. At this level, mistakes like that cannot go... Well, they don't go unpunished. And uh, you can see there, even a small one like that where that pass doesn't go where it's intended ends up in a three. And so everything has to be precise with the likes uh, of either one of these squads. Oh, and speaking of precise, Techno snags that one through the hands. Look at that replay. That was insane. He, he reaches through the hands of the defender to get that pass. What a three. Hot drop back at it. Keeping their lead, keeping that three-point lead. Again, not allowing Bangarang to work up, but again, Bangarang with a good initial rollout. Oop, there's finally a stun. Techno has it. And it is going to be a clear. Stacks there, but it floats up to the top of the zone, and it's going to be a little bit of midfield contention for Disc. Floats down, a good scoop up there. An attempted cross pass, but a really nice intercept from Burden Boy there. A good pass down to Fields. Fields with a good 360 clear. Mail slot shot opens up 
Just like that. Look at that sequence. What a great bit of teamwork to fly through the midfield there. And it was just completely out of left field. They've been playing patient and slow, almost allowing Bangarang's defense to set up. And maybe it set Bangarang up to be a little bit slower. Maybe they were stunned in the backfield. But either way, that three, all the time in the world to look at it, set it up, and fire it in. And man, Hot Drop are playing hot right here. They're dropping in hot for the first five minutes at least. We'll see what they can do for the rest of the five. There's a good save. That's a good way to kick off the back half of this round. Oh no, and hot drop with an opportunity there. The ding on the corner. That could have been bad news. The underhand shot does not connect. And now there's an open goal three. The stack doesn't get there in time. Techno Wubs goes for the steal out of the hand. Not to dive back into goal, and light has come. Takes an open goal three. Nice bit of chipping away back at that lead, and plenty of time for this Bangarang squad to work back here. Again, they've got the momentum of that W against Flair, and that was a close game too. And so they're ready to play tight uh, on the scoreline, and I don't know if Hot Drop are as prepared. It seems like they are. Feels firing in too, just like that. And Hot Drop are quickly uh, back to the two goal lead. Taking away the notion that Bangarang would be able to climb up on top before we get to those final two minutes. See if they can. They do have a minute 45 left before we get to that two minute point. And that's really when the pressure gets on. You really start thinking about strategy and Man, with these offensive jousts going into the hands of Hot Drop like this, it does not look good for Bangarang. Another steal, another challenge. Feels is feeling it. As he fires in that two. And now the lead's getting a little scary. Uh, yeah, uh, it's with this time, uh, with the amount of time left, Bangarang really got to start to turn on here. They have to get through the midfield successfully. Step one. They have not been able to do that off of their offensive jousts uh, in a while here. And so now they're trying something new, trying to force this stack to pull out of the midfield. It does at least get the hand, uh, the disc into the hand of Wet Taco. And that stack is stunned out. And so Bangarang are able to float up here into the zone. Just kind of looking around, almost expecting the defense to come, but no one's here. Wet Taco has the opportunity for the goal and reads the great stun that his teammate gives him with a backboard shot. That is fantastic teamwork from Bangarang, and that's what it takes to get through this hot drop team right now. Five-point lead. We're getting down to the two-minute drill, and it is definitely within reach for Bangarang here. They're going to need to play some good defense, though, and they really need to stop this uh, this this. Uh, yeah, offensive joust from getting through the midfield. Perfect steal from Wet Taco. Kicks off this play. An open goal three off the backboard. What a rollout from Brangarang. Exactly to a T what they needed to do. Repeat for this next round. I mean, again, they still have two minutes. I, they, they've closed this gap right away to two, to two points, one goal and they've got a minute 50 to work with. There's a lot of time for Hot Drop here to get more points, but also to allow Bangarang to get possession and more, po uh, more points on the board. They're looking to tie this up. The stack's here. It's trying to stun out the defense. It can't, and there's a good clear. <laughs> Full court brawl in the midfield. And light. Oh, no. Tries to go for a pass. Techno scoops it up. Feels, fires the pass. What a crazy a shot that goes wide. The open goal two was there. The lead could get padded on, and it gets punished. The missed shot to the top of the zone gets then quickly. I mean, put that replay in your books. Holy cow, the crazy save to the open goal three. Bangarang have now 50 seconds to defend, and Hot Drop have been playing good so far this round. It's been these last three minutes they've been struggling. Here's the passes connecting. There is the goals finding their way. The three-pointer from Techno Wubs puts it to a two-point lead. We are trading leads back and forth in this final two minutes. 
going to be about 20 seconds for Bangarang to work with here if they want to at least tie this up. And they can. It's two goal lead, so it's within reach. They don't have to go for a three here. They don't need the lead. They can tie this up, take it to OT, but the pass through the midfield goes wide. Nobody there to get it. And an open goal three doesn't connect. Five seconds ticking down. Going for that disc. Can they find any sort of opportunity to get through this wall? No. A two-point lead for Hot Drop. Locks it in, but just barely. And geez. Let's all take a breath. After round one, that was intense. Uh, the final two minutes delivered <laughs> on all accounts, as expected. A crazy sequence of plays. Both of these teams playing on point. I mean, this is what you get for teams that are competing to get into the master tier. It's what you need. You need to be playing very good Echo Arena. That means on point passes, solid saves, good in the goal defense. And we really saw a lot of that out of Bangarang. They did uh, lose that round, but some really solid saves coming through there. And I think what Bangarang was missing was their passes connecting. They had some great sequences and when those worked, it's what they, it, it was fantastic, but they weren't, <clears throat> there wasn't even really a lot of times where I felt like the saves had to come in. I, you know, it, it's from, uh, from Hot Drop, so I, I don't know if that's because of the man-on-man -man defense they're putting out, or maybe they're putting, they're, they're pushing their defense out of bubble. Their stacks are definitely fast and aggressive, and, well, Hot Drop are the underdogs on all accounts. And right before we get into Joust for round two, a timeout is called. I wonder by who. Because that'll be interesting to know. I'm going to kind of determine if it's a tactical one or... Oh, interesting. Hot drop coming in with the timeout. Maybe wanting more time to plan. Uh, and I guess they have this momentum here. Interesting, interesting strategy. You know, we've got with the uh, with season with the season four this ability to do tactical timeouts, and I love seeing it. Uh, definitely using it to make sure that they're not maybe overconfident going into this next round. That was a hard W to get for Hot Drop. What they need to do really is repeat, obviously, round one, the start of it, the first five minutes. They had a solid. Uh, a solid lead all the way through. Bangarang tried to answer back. They had a quick response. That open, that that three they, they kicked it off with set them up for success. And I imagine they're going to be on the hunt for something like that uh, as we uh, get into the next round. Kind of searching for that initial, obviously, joust win into that three. That's the dream, right? But it really set them off well for round one. And just couldn't get that energy back. Even after Bangarang did score a quick two, quick three, two, quick one point lead. But then again, the answer back coming in from Hot Drop. Hot Drop just played a great first half there. And it, I mean, geez, it was anyone's game there for the final two minutes. So I don't I guess maybe who knows what we're going to get for round two. I, I would say more of round one, more of that close back and forth. Uh, but. Momentum's hard to carry, and sometimes a loss like that is the toughest pill to swallow. You really got to work your whole mindset back up again. Because you were, you had, I mean, you had the win. 50 seconds. Bang ring, we're in the lead. And they, it's sometimes all it takes for a team to score and lock in a W, so... Yes, excited to see round two, but we are into that timeout, and I think that is uh, slowly working away. So we should be in the round two shortly. I don't see any technic or tactic uh, technical reason uh, for the time for uh, the prolonged timeout. So yeah, we are going to be flying right into this joust. Everyone, get ready for round two as we count down to what is I anticipate to be another good bit of back and forth. If you are just tuning in, there's a couple of games going live. Uh, there's another one over on VRML2. If you want to get your multi-streams up, I recommend it, but you're not going to want to miss this. Because Hot Drop have managed to win their joust, and they are looking to set up for success like they did off of the start of round one. But a great defensive play there prevents that two from coming through. 
And looks like, I think, Wet Taco slaps that one away. It's a great slap at that. Ooh. And there's no one here. Ryruff comes casually floating in and finds a two. The stacks brawling back inside the zone of Bangarang. And I mean, that took a long time for anybody to get down there. And Ryruff with a great almost behind the back shot. Uh, and Bangarang now have the lead. Tough rollout for Hot Drop, but they now have the offensive push. And oh no, that pass not connecting. Forces the clear and into the hands of Bangarang. Simple mistake, quickly punished. Just like that, will this mistake be punished? That pass not going where intended, but Taco has to try and make up for it. And he does. A long range three sniped off of the corner of the goal, 5-0 now for Bangarang, and well, we are in route for a round three at this pace. <laughs> we will see what Hot Drop do here off of their offensive rollout, but certainly a good first minute and a half for Bangarang. For them to be coming out like this, it, it feels more like uh, when they were up against Flair, a little bit more aggressive the pass is connecting and as i say that the push into the back of the zone is disrupted by a solid defense from a hot drop and now the full pressure of that defense comes flying in it leaves an opportunity to attack that is capitalized on there's a good bit of passing wet taco a 18 meter a second bullet through the defense seven and oh lead and again look at the replay look at the passing it's it's, that's what it takes to lock in points at this level, and it was a great passing sequence. And they recognized the opportunity. The defense had finally pulled itself out, and that one, two, three, uh, really good job. Uh, hard to defend against because that disc is changing trajectory so much. Hard to read, and uh-oh. A short-lived two <laughs> comes in as hot drop answer back, and that lead closed to five again. About time for Hot Drop to put some points on the board, but momentum definitely still into the hands of Bangarang. Bangarang now first offensive joust of round two. And they're playing it patiently. Yeah, allowing this double stack to come pushing out. And that has its disadvantages. The steal comes through the back shot. Off the backboard dings, and the text continues. Burden and Boy and Fields at least get the two. But there was a shot on three there for a second. 11, and Hot Dropper chipping away. A tough offensive rollout for Bangarang. Momentum shifting steadily over to Hot Drop. And Hot Drop already have that round one W. So they just need to lock this one in to take the series. Good pass over to the side. Or the tunnel. And let Taco. The standout shooter in the Flare series. A good pass to the bottom of the zone there. Gets that back bounce pass, and that was not the intended sequence that they were looking for. And so throw it back to Ryruff, and everyone resets. Tries to pull the defense where they want them to go to open up the opportunity. And a really good read off of this defense. They recognize the threat from Wet Taco crashed into zone, but Wet Taco passes. <laughs> He's been dominating on shot taking uh, throughout all of that last series. Maybe they were watching that, but Wet Taco goes for the pass, and I don't think anyone was ready for that on defense. A nice two locked in, and Bangarang are keeping their lead just like Hot Drop was in round one. Ping pong. Both teams vying for disc possession here, vying for an opportunity to attack. Oh, and Hot Drop may have found it. Quick stacks back though, it's not gonna be easy. There's a good pass to the back of the zone and what a sequence. Just pulling around the goalie on a chain there. Dragging him to the bottom of the zone, opening up that pass to the middle for a clear goal. What a great sequence of passing there coming in from Hot Drop. That was really nice to see. And I mean, again, this is top tier 
Echo Arena coming at you right now. This is good stuff. Take notes and inject it into your veins, because this is what we're all here for. Top Pass out to the top of the zone from Wet Taco, and a good stun. Techno. Maybe recognizing the threat that Wet Taco presents as a shooter, getting right up into his face and just stunning him out, not allowing him the opportunity. Uh-oh, but the stack has been pulled out. Oh, that was a great no-look pass. But a quick intercept and cleared down range. The stacks here were brawling in the midfield. And again, another attack. Attempt there. They didn't like it, though. Back pass and another setup. Pat shot goes wide there. And the hot drop are able to clear it out. And continue forward with an attack. Oh, and a good passing sequence with a shot that goes a bit too low. Looking for the bottom of the zone there, doesn't find it. A tough shot to make. And one we've seen made a lot so far today, but it just goes to show you that it doesn't always get sunk in. Here comes some more passing. Oh, another shot up. A great rebound and another great pass. Burden Boy says, I'm not the one to take the shots and just gives it out to his teammates, dishing it to everyone for an opportunity at a shot. Draco's the one that takes it in for a dunk, the alley-oop. And Hot Drop climbing back. I'm sure a lot of people a little bit nervous about their predictions now as Hot Drop are, again, just a round away from taking the series. And they were certainly the underdogs on votes online and in predictions. And so... Outperforming maybe expectations, but can they continue to do so? Bangarang have been playing well. With some good passing like that, they find the two, work past the defense, and it's like a knife cutting through butter there. A hot knife at that. As they work right through that defensive setup and a quick three-point lead as we work into that final two minutes. That two-minute drill. <sighs> Going to be another intense one. <laughs> uh, if this is any indicator. Oh, there's a good midfield pass. A mail slot shot, an opportunity. Oh, and a good save. That could have been off of the backboard. And I think Fields is there to scoop it up. The clear comes in from Hot Drop. The two-minute drill kicks off, and Hot Drop is looking to get up on the board. A fantastic steal from Techno Wubs. And they say here, Bangarang, you're on the offensive rollout. A one-point lead. And we're now, like I said, into that two-minute drill, into the all-important time where we have had some wild exchanges of these of these leads. Can Hot Drop come flying out? No, they don't. It's a bit of a risk to dive out early on something like this, and Hot Drop didn't want to full send it off out to that goalie. Or out to the uh, QB, excuse me. And I don't know if it's going to be the right choice. Because right now, Bangarang are just chewing away at this time. They have this one-point lead. And they are just allowing this clock to tick away. Good passes are connecting, and the attack's not coming through until it is. Suddenly, Wet Taco tries to go in, and a great save. A quick rebound, and he fires it back off of the shield. It's a three-point lead <clears throat> for Bangarang. It's not enough. It's not enough to get comfortable with, at least. It's obviously enough to win, but a whole minute left for this hot drop team to work with. 50 seconds. There's certainly enough time for two twos to get put up here. Maybe an opportunity at a three, but not with a miss clear like that. Ryruff gets his hands on it, puts it down range, and it's now in the zone of hot drop. And as this clock ticks away, they are going to be forced to go for the three. Light has come, is here. And scoops up that intercept, forces again more delay, more time ticking away, and more possessions to Bangarang. The three shot goes wide. Maybe not necessary because it gives possession back. The clear doesn't come through though, and Hot Drop are getting nothing past this Bangarang defense. Round two going into the hands of Bangarang. And we're headed to round three. Thursday night delivering on the Echo Arena action, that is to say the least. A 
pretty dang good back and forth here today as this time Bangarang squeeze away with the W. But again, look at that score line. Round one, 16 to 18. Only a two point lead. Round two, 16 to 10. What is round three going to deliver us? I'm just, I'll throw the hat in the ring. I think maybe we'll get an OT. Cause let's, cause why not? Let's get a little overtime going on in round three to really round this sucker off. But who knows? Uh, at this point, momentum certainly uh, in the hands of Bangarang, and they have been in this position before. Matter of fact, they were in it just a few minutes ago. <laughs> it feels like when they were up against Flair, and now they're going to be moving into this best of three again. And you have to think, you do have to start to kind of factor in the stamina element. You know, they have been playing a good bit of Echo Arena now, a solid hour of competitive Echo, an uh, hour and a half, really, uh, of competitive Echo, because I imagine they had to stay loose in between rounds. And so, yeah, there's uh, maybe a slight advantage here for Hot Drop if they can manage to come out swinging off of this joust, but we'll see. Round number three. We shall see indeed. Shout out to everyone hanging out in chat. Do appreciate all of you chilling. Great night for some good quality Echo Arena action. And out the gate, a bit of a brawl in midfield. Everyone on the hunt, but no real solid winner. And as I say, that bangerang takes the shot there. I think that came in from Sam Randy and is scooped up by that hot drop wall. And here comes the clear. The stack's trying to get set up for the attack, but. This defensive bangering has been quick. They've been uh, very responsive on getting back into that goal and quickly setting up, preventing Hot Drop from finding any easy goals at the very least. But as I say that, this may be one of them. What a wild bounce. Fortuitous to say the least. And I doubt planned. <laughs> but a great pass nonetheless. Right into the hands of Draco. I mean... Almost like the arena was gifting him the pass for that, too. And uh, out the gate, Hot Drop have the lead. Welcome in from Echo Arena VRML2. You are here for a heck of a series. Uh, round one it went to the hands of Hot Drop, 18 to 6. Round two to Bangarang, 16 to 10. And here we are. Start of round three. You've made it in time for the hype. I've already predicted an overtime. And so if my caster mojo has any impact on the result, we're definitely going for an overtime. We'll see, though. I don't know how powerful I am just yet, but... Clear down midfield. Hot drop. Try and set up for the attack. They do manage to get there first. Bangerang not able to collect and defend that disc, but the shot goes wide, and that pass gets intercepted. Another snag by Sam Randy. Cleared down the tunnel. Wet Taco goes for the three on the corner and finds it. Bangarang have the lead in a flash. A very tight shot. One that we've seen him make once already today. It actually bounced off of the shield when he made it. But still, almost the exact same angle. Let Taco with a long range three. Hot prop trying to throw, get through this midfield. But it, it, this defense coming in from Bangarang is Fierce. They are really right up in the face of this hot drop team, making it t difficult to connect with these passes. And there we see it. A missed pass goes wide, and the defense doing uh, work. It's very much <laughs> working for them. The pressure uh, forcing these errors from hot drop and opening up opportunities like that. But a missed shot from, I think that, I I'm surprised to say it, but I think that came from Wet Taco. A missed open goal three there on the corner. Maybe it's not his preferred side. Either way, Sam Brandy has possession now. And this is the attack coming in from Bangarang. Burden Boy with the slap it, uh, off of his hand. Uh, almost snagged it up, or off of the head, either one. 11, 10, <clears throat> but a great little give and go there from Bangarang. Collects down that three point lead. But it's not, uh, not a comfortable one. You can sit on Hot Drop. Have been quick to respond so far this series. Kept things very close. But every mistake gets punished, it seems like. And, well, that's a rough clear. Wet Taco has possession now. He's in a one on three. And can't afford mistakes like that. Those are definitely going to get punished. And 
They're lucky that was only a two. <laughs> I could have certainly uh, had more impact, but a five-point lead now. Again, not insurmountable, and one we have seen Hot Drop bounce back from. They did last round to keep it uh, to a one-point game, but a two-minute drill not going their way. We'll see if they can work the score line a little bit. We're not even to the halfway mark of round three, so plenty of time left. And plenty of time for Bangarang to maybe start to get tired, but we'll see. They seem to be pretty active, pretty on point here so far. Passes connecting and defense aggressive. And another clear. Hot Drop just not able to set up inside the zone of Bangarang, and it's been really an issue all series. Oh, there's the attempted clear, a great read. And Bangarang have possession, and they can pass around in the back in the midfield all day. It's ticked down the clock. They have a two-goal lead right now, so it's a comfortable enough position where they don't need points. And if they work this clock, then it's advantageous. What a great dive there. Draco flies out. Extends those arms like Michael Phelps and scoops up that disc. A very solid grab and uh-oh. That shot almost finds its way. Dings off the shield, fortunate enough there. And Hot Drop are trying to get some momentum going, and Bangarang are relentless. They are just not allowing Hot Drop to get their way. And it's partially, obviously, Bangarang playing well, but also Hot Drop's uh, select errors have really been, uh, have really hurt them so far in this round. Oh, and there's a great pass. A great sequence. And defense. Uh, pulled out a bit too far, maybe not recognizing that there had been an, uh, a potential pass there to the bottom of the zone that floated up. But that's 9-2 now as we do work into the back half of round three. And seven-point lead, not out of reach. Again, not out of reach by any, by any means. These are top-tier teams. They can score points in seconds. And we may see that here. Oh, if that pass connected, it certainly could have been an opportunity. The disc slapped away as a good stun comes through off the bat, off that stack, comes flying through. And here's a great clear. A quick reaction. The stack's there to try and fire something over, but a awkward shot on goal goes awry, and Hot Drop have the disc again. And continued to attempt at an attack, but another missed pass is quickly punished with a three. Every error gets almost instantly punished by Bangarang, and Bangarang are doing a great job of recognizing that. They are almost allowing Hot Drop to play into that hand and then finding those opportunities and then executing off of them. It's, oh, making it tough for Hot Drop, and maybe to show you how much that pressure's on, the missed uh, joust there as they uh, bonk off of the initial launch, but it doesn't seem to deter them too much on their attack. Maybe they should do that more often. Maybe they need a more uh, a, a more box to the head to get them to find their passes, but hey, whatever. Whatever works. <laughs> uh, two points put in. And we are getting danger close to uh, what is it? Tech, uh, whole, there's a whole video you can, you can watch about it. Technical time. Uh, t uh, mathematical time. Dimweep made a whole thing about it, if you want to know. But we are nearing that point. And I'm not one to do the math, so we're not gonna. Instead, we're gonna see if Hot Drop can come back in time. Closing the gap to a two three-pointers or three twos. If you're good at math. I'm certainly not. But within reach. And Bangarang have had some rough offensive jousts. Uh, in the back half of round two as well, so they gotta be careful here. The stack comes flying in looking for that intercept but can't find it, and it is a risk to go diving in like that. And uh, this defense really looking nice here. The full clear comes down, the stack's gonna be right there in the zone, and they get it, Techno's firing in the two. A all important two minute drill coming in here as the gap now, two twos. They want the lead of three and the two. Yeah, we're doing math here. You learn a thing or two. And we're rhyming. It's crazy. Offensive joust. And this is what they need to do. Play it cautiously. 
Do not allow this defensive stack to intercept. Work their way up confidently through midfield. No risk, and uh-oh, there is a little risk. As the stack comes flying through, they all they overshoot it. I think they were looking for the stun grab and couldn't find it. Now they have to get back into defense in a hurry, and they don't, and that might be it. Light has come, finds, was that an underhand three from the bottom of the zone? I don't know, let's look at the replay. I think it was. 30. And Bangarang have done well to adjust and punish this hot drop team. Round three, the score line looking a lot different. A confident lead for Bangarang, and they are going to lock in this series. Albeit they would want to keep a solid lead, but at least a uh, hot drop chip away. <laughs> I think that'll maybe help them at the end of the day with their MR up or down, but still. A solid W coming in in the third round from Bangarang and a fantastic series to tune in here today. The offensive rollout to confirm their W. And yeah, this has been quality Echo Arena right here. I mean, this is a little bit, uh, <laughs> if you're master and you're, I mean, you're not thinking about it yet, obviously, but when you get to the back half of this second cycle, I'd be a little nervous. <laughs> I would not be one to have to go, uh, compete against uh, these teams that are at the top of Diamond and looking to be competing for a master tier slot at the end of cycle two. That was some good quality Echo Arena coming through from both teams and super fun to tune into. A shout out to everyone that did stop by and Ultimately, those bangerang predictors being true, albeit close, but they'll get their points and come away happy. A Again, great game to tune into, and a shout-out to everyone that did hang out and watch all of the matches tonight. This is the final one of the night. I don't think we have any more going up to Echo Arena 2, unless Palador decides to squirrel away and hop on a game at 1 a.m. in the morning, which he is like to do. So you're going to want to keep your eyes on the Discord. Keep your eyes on the Twitter. You never know when there's going to be a random game. Uh, but with that, I'll be signing off. My name has been Nightfire with two E's. Thank you so much for hanging out and tuning in. A shout out to our Cameron Newton dad doing fantastic work. And we will see you all tomorrow with more Echo Arena action. Season 4 of VRML Echo Arena is brought to you by HyperX, Asterian Products, VRWare, Rebuff Reality, VR Cover, and ProTube VR. <laughs>